Coming right up, the Hawks take it on the Nets. For Atlanta, the journey of a new season starts now. Let's see if the work from the offseason pays off. Nets, Hawks is next. Back in just a moment. Welcome everyone to a new season of the NBA. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us at 2K Sports are as we get ready to start the season in style. Brian Anderson here with me, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Joining us courtside is Allie LaForce. And a look now at Atlanta's upcoming schedule. On Friday, they'll host the Charlotte Hornets. And then Sunday, they kick off a road trip at Oklahoma City where they'll take on the Thunder. And that game against the Wizards, that's one to mark on the schedule. It's their fifth game of the year, and we should start to see lineups get sorted out. Now the opening lineup for the Brooklyn Nets. Johnson and Claxton patrol the middle. Schroeder and Thomas make up the backcourt. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three, the small forward. And for the Hawks, Johnson at the four with Capella at the five. Their backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. And it's Risa Shea in at the three. What's not to love about opening day, Grant? Every team with an equal chance to do something special. Oh, B.A., that's the way these teams look at it. Regardless how your previous season went, you have a chance to do something special, something great. Time to start fresh and build on that optimism. Connex from downtown. Thomas does need a lot of space in this situation. He is so good at breaking defenses down. Back to Young. Rejected by Claxton. Now Thomas. Outside Schroeder. There's the three. Rebounded by Johnson. To the inside. And Young the bucket on the assist from Riza Shea. Courageous play by Young. He goes inside and gets past the contact to his shot. They set the pick. Here's Thomas for three. The shot misses. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Here's Young. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Yeah, there's Trey Young getting it done inside. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. And here's Schroeder outside. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. And six man, a common term in basketball, has a unique meaning for the Atlanta Hawks grant. Yeah, it's the name of their fan base. Extremely loyal and passionate. And they've swayed the outcome of games. Here's Schroeder. Following the score by Atlanta. Johnson passes to Schroeder. And again, it's Brooklyn from deep. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. The Hawks have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. A nice shot by Young. Young's got eight. Ideal way to start the game. Come out of the gate and knock down all but one of your first five shots. It's Thomas on the wing. Hawks down. His first. Team first. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Some room here for Schroeder. Capella with a rebound. If he gets that look again, he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. And so it's Schroeder with it. He brings it up for the Nets. Oh, got that one up quick. A good shooter in his own right. May not be the shot you expected by Donovich to take. Young on the attack. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. He got right into the flow of this game, hitting five of his first seven shots. And the timeout called here by Jordy Fernandez. He's going to talk it over with his guys. And how about Nick Claxton? You'd be hard-pressed to find a more versatile defender. He's come so far in that area since he came into the league. He's become an elite defender. There isn't a position on the floor he can't guard. And Atlanta making a change here. Hunter's checked in. Finney Smith's checked in for Brooklyn. Thomas outside. 
And here's Finney Smith. Pass to Johnson. Here's Claxton. Back to Johnson. Clock at four. Finney Smith. Three-pointer, no good. The Hawks have gotten five of seven shots to fall. Now here's Hunter. Here's Riza Shea. Here's Capella. Gets another look. And it's good on the layup. And what do you know? Capella with the high percentage look. <laughs> That's his motto. Thomas against Bogdanovich. Thomas passes to Schroeder. And the Nets miss again. Ooh, might rush that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. Pass to Young. Back to Hunter. Bogdanovich from long range. Schroeder with a rebound. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Claxton with it. Schroeder finds Claxton. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Bogdan Bogdanovich. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Schroeder. Six points for him. Fires in the triple. Schroeder's got nine. Young with it, and it's Thomas picking him up. Nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Brooklyn has gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Johnson passes to Finney Smith. And here's Thomas. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Riza Shade. And here's Hunter from the arc. He drops it from range. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. And here's Schroeder outside. That shot off. Credit to him for trying to get that three right back. Missed the shot, but that's a fighter's mentality. Capella, the pass to Young. Back to Capella. Just five to shoot. From deep. Brooklyn with the board. A minute 20 left to play in the first quarter. It's Thomas on the wing. Defended by Bogdanovich. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Thomas has gotten his second bucket of the game. Oh, Cam Thomas is a very comfortable mid-range shooter. And Quinn Snyder decides to call timeout. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Simmons has checked in for Claxton. Bogdanovich, Atlanta, making some changes here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Johnson. And it's Young in for Krejci. And Atlanta has possession. Young from long range. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Capella. And here's a look now at who shot the ball the best during last season's campaign. Fifth best, Nick Claxton. So consistent from the floor. He shot it at a great clip last season. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. They've got DeAndre Hunter. Trey Young out there with Dyson Daniels. Then it's Clint Capella, and it's Bogdanovich in at the small forward position. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. So often Simmons is the one making the pass. This time, he's on the finishing end. You know, Grant, with the Nets, there was so much optimism just a few years back. And it was just too bad to see things go south. It's a reminder that nothing is as easy as it seems in the NBA. Even with a superstar roster, things don't always work out. It's nice to have moves like that in your back pocket. Simmons showing off his handles. Schroeder against Young. Oh, Young with the power move. And shooting-wise, he's been fantastic, helping to build this lead. Thomas outside. Pass to Claxton. Screen by Claxton. Here's Schroeder. Rebound Atlanta. Capella's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Eh, look, sometimes that's how it goes. Here's Young. Oh, 
Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That one on Schroeder. Most people think of Young as a perimeter player, but he has the courage and toughness to work inside. Well, Grant, aside from making the East Finals in 2021, how would you assess Trey Young's teams? Well, they're always solid offensive teams, but Trey is the type of player that you need to surround with defensive minded guys, and he hasn't really had that. Risa Shea, he's checked in for the Hawks. Schroeder can't get it to go. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Hey, B.A., the Hawks are figuring it out. Coach Quinn Snyder said, growth isn't linear. We want to just keep improving. The players have bought in. They're working. They're practicing hard, hitting the film. Everybody has been absolutely coachable. I think we're learning. Guys, it's all about the journey here. Yeah, I'm trying to take that next step. That's how it's done. Thanks, Ali. Simmons against Young. And Simmons gets it to go. Simmons has got six in the quarter. This is what you like to see from Simmons on the attack, being the aggressor. And it's out of bounds to the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. That's fine. You love the effort, not making things easy for the opposition on offense. Pass to Young. Shot clock at six. The three ball. And Simmons grabs the board. Nets trail by 10. One forty-three left to play in the second quarter. Here's Schroeder. From downtown. It's Thomas on the wing. Takes a big high bounce and goes in. Thomas has got seven points in the game. In constant motion off ball, Thomas finds a soft spot and trust the ball will find him back. Inside, it's Trey Young. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. And the timeout called here by Jordy Fernandez. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. Johnson, he's checked in for Hunter. And a change for the Nets. Bogdanovich is checked in. Pass to Thomas. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. Driving inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now it's a 12-point Atlanta lead. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Hawks. From the very start of this game, they have been giving the ball handlers trouble, using good pressure to force turnovers and get steals. And also, the coaching staff has to love the hustle so far. Just playing with great energy, getting out and converting in transition. Willing passers, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. There's Young with the three, and the three-pointer goes. Young's got 22. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. Outside shooter. The rebound by Atlanta. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Brooklyn this season. Yeah, they beat this team in the season series last year. But what's that really saying? And there's the ability to finish for Risa Shea. Nobody scares him at the rim. Thomas outside. Four seconds left. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Brooklyn shooting their first free throw of the evening. And the first half now in the books. The Hawks on top, up by 12. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? 42. Trey, you've made it look easy so far. How have you been able to pick them apart? Uh, I'm just taking what the defense has given me. Uh, open driving lanes. Uh, they're leaving some of our bigs open. Uh, pick and roll, things like that. We've got to continue to do it and um, try to get to the win. 
Guys, reading the defense is something that he's pretty good at. Picks so much strength. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. Hey, folks, halftime here. And it's been the Trey Young show through the first half. There's a toughness to Trey Young. As little as he is, he will tear you up. Yeah, we talked about the Steph Curry comparisons. Obviously, this. Okay, so now let's talk about that point guard matchup from the first half. These two guys have been very competitive with one another. Fans are getting their money's worth right now. That. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. We're seeing a tremendous game from Trey Young. Yeah, tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. So on the floor for Brooklyn, Schroeder and Thomas make up the backcourt. Johnson and Claxton patrol the middle, and it's Bogdanovich in at the three. Here's Thomas. Ooh, coming through again, shooting five for seven now. And we're joined now by Shams Charania. He's calling in with a story. Good to have you, Shams. What's going on? Well, guys, teams are all grappling with this new CBA, especially the dreaded second apron. Fans possibly unclear on what it means. Honestly, even front offices are still navigating the complexities of the new restrictions. But basically, it has become harder for teams to spend big and acquire new players under the current systems. We'll see, guys, how this impacts everyone moving forward. Something to keep an eye on, no doubt. All right, Chomps, thanks a lot. Eh, good whistle there. Brooklyn shooting their second and third free throws tonight. That free throw, no good. And he misses the second one as well, so 0 for 2 that time. Over the last few years, Atlanta struggled defensively, Greg. Yeah, the Hawks haven't been better than 20th in defensive rating since 2017. They've had some great offensive teams during that time, but their defense has held them back. And here's Thomas from the arc. Brooklyn, no good that time either. The Hawks lead by 14. High post Young. He's got 26. Can't hit from in close. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Pass to Johnson. Out to the wing. Claxton passes to Schroeder. Six on the shot clock. Brooklyn, no good that time either. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. Good. Young's got six points in the quarter. They have no answer defensively inside. Nets trail by 16. And Jordy Fernandez calls timeout. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. The Nets haven't been to the conference finals since 2003. Richard, can you name someone on that team? Uh, there's a 22-year-old dude named, I, I think it was Richard Jefferson, but most people have never heard of him. But seriously, the Nets have had some great players over the last 20 years. They just haven't had that same team success. Brooklyn with possession here. It's a 16-point game. Here's Claxton. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. No, oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Here's Young. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Young's got 30 points. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Outside Johnson. Here's Thomas. Perfection with the jumper from the elbow. 
it's just one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. Schroeder against Young. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Young's got 10 points in just the second half. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Pass to Bogdanovich. Three-pointer off the mark. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Here's Young. Tries a 10-footer. And the lamp is good off the glass. Young's got 34. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Thomas outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got six rebounds here tonight. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian. Jalen Johnson is developing the complete game. He said, I watch the guys who do everything. That's my mindset. I want to be at least solid in every department and then keep building on that, adding bits and pieces here and there. Brian, his versatility is already drawing attention league-wide. Yeah, there's no question about that, Allie. Thank you. And so it's Quinn Snyder here calling timeout. He wants to review the game plan. Hunters checked in for Atlanta. Daniels comes in for Trey Young. Finney Smith go for the Hawks. Akangu comes in for Capella. And it's Young in for Johnson. Pass to Clowney. Back to Schroeder. 4-3. Hunter with the rebound. Hunter's got four rebounds now. One forty-one left in the third quarter. There's Young with the three. The rebound by Simmons. Oh, man, for whatever reason, he can't get it going from three, and he's pretty good from there. Schroeder passes to Thomas. Outside Simmons. To the left wing. Shot clock at five. Pass to Schroeder. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Schroeder's got 13. Atlanta leading by 14. Here's Young. And they pick up two. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Nets. That'll wrap up this short two-game road trip. Up top, Schroeder. All sorts of time. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Simmons has got three assists tonight. Young, the pass to Okongwu. Back to Young. Yep, that one goes. Young's got 38 points. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. To the paint. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Now, be careful because he is a rhythm scorer. Thomas has been locked and loaded all night with a full clip. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Outside Young fires from deep. And it's Thomas with the rebound. Yeah, no triples for him here in the second half. One fell in the first, though. Can he turn it up? Back to Schroeder. Here's Finney Smith. Off the mark there with a three. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. Atlanta on top, leading by 14. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. And from a team perspective, having your off-guard rip-off passes like that, it's awesome. It shows you have guys willing to give up the rock. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been a throw for the Hawks. Bogdan Bogdanovich checked in for Johnson, and it's Trey Young in for Krejci. Atlanta leading by 12. DeAndre Hunter is out there with Bogdan Bogdanovich. And then there's Dyson Daniels. Then it's Trey Young. And it's a Kongwu in at the center position. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. From 11 feet away, 
And the shot no good. A bit short. And for Atlanta, they're shooting it well. Around 55% for the game. Hunter finds a Kongwu. Now Young launches it from deep. Cloudy pulls it in. You know what? He's got to look to get other guys involved. The three-point stroke is off. Here's Simmons. Outside Schroeder. Let's go with a three. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Simmons has got his fifth assist in this one. Pass to Hunter. Down low. And Young gets it to go. Young's got 40 points. Ooh, he's been the guy tonight. Really impressive performance. Thomas outside. Over Bogdanovich. Thomas misses. And usually that's a bucket for him. But look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. And that one's good. Young. Young's got 42 in the game. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And he's going for the oop here. Throw it down on the lob. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. And Quinn Snyder decides to call timeout. He wants their game plan to be crystal clear at this point. Atlanta making some changes here. Capella, he's checked in for a Kongwu. Johnson comes in for Hunter, and it's Rizache in for Daniels. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey guys, well, Quinn Snyder was just reviewing the plan with the team. He kept it real with his team, telling them, I know you feel good about this lead, but let's not get lazy. Let's not act like this is a sure thing all of a sudden. Looking to keep their focus on the task at hand. Brian? Allie, thank you. Thomas with the ball. The three is up. And count it. 8 of 14 now. He's rolling. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. It's another big night for Trey Young. A relentless score constantly testing your defense. Here's Thomas. Atlanta with a rebound. Johnson's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And again, it's Trey Young. Young's got 48. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, just keep feeding him. That guy is a man on a mission. And the defense, well, they don't have much of an answer. Here's Young. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. And it's good. He hits another one. <laughs> My goodness, 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Thomas against Bogdanovich. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Outside Young for three. Come on, come on. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Claxton. And a comfortable win for them here. Game is out of reach. Time for the fans now to celebrate a win for the Hawks. Absolute fireworks display. High scoring game. They were unstoppable, Grant. Yeah, just relentless from start to finish. And the pace was furious. Ultimately, they wore out the other team. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Trey Young. And let's just say this. The name of the game is scoring. And yes, he provided that tonight. You're welcome. All right, Grant, when you look at the Nets' rebuild, what are you seeing at this point? Well, they gave up a lot of young players and draft picks to assemble a big three. And, of course, that didn't quite work out. So now they're in that middle ground, which sometimes can be a little tough. Add to the fact that they're in New York, the fans and media are anything but patient and forgiving. 29 seconds left in the final quarter. And Young, here we go. Claxton with a rebound. Tipped. 
Thomas finds Schroeder. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. Quality pass by Thomas. He was paying attention out there. Young looking for an opening. Rejected by Claxton. And so it's Atlanta with the W. This one was in the balance right until the final seconds. NBA, they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Trey, you guys had a look in your eyes tonight. How satisfying was it to get this win? I mean, it feels great. It feels great getting the win. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm just here to help my team win, whoever we're playing against, and um, that, that's all I care about. Thanks, Trey. Guys? All right, Allie, thank you. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Grant Hill, Richard Jefferson, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And as we leave you, here's a look at our player of the game, Trey Young.